Hey guys, welcome to lecture series where we are discussing software testing for semester 5 TYBACIT. My name is Professor Tirup Parmar. So in first lecture, we, all, we are already done discussing what is the syllabus for this particular subject and uh, we discuss this particular question. As you can see, what are the error, faults and failure. Now in this lecture, we'll start, continue our discussion uh, with uh, this particular question that is what are the defects, what are its causes when do they arise and what is the cost of finding defects uh, remember this question is uh, already asked in uh, university exam for two three times i have not just mentioned years here because i need to again uh, scan many papers so uh, make sure that whatever question i'm adding to this particular notes all those questions are very 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 important so uh, you are not supposed to skip any single question now let's start discussing uh, we'll first discuss this particular diagram and based on this diagram we'll continue our discussion with the theoretical part of this particular question so as you can see uh, in the first particular part uh, in for in this particular diagram as you can see in first part we have a requirement in which we have correctly correctly acquired or we have correctly gathered all the requirements if the requirements are correct then obviously the design which we are going to develop for our software those designs are also going to be correct uh, which type of design we are talking about for example entity relationship diagrams uh, data flow diagrams algorithm which we are going to draw for our project so those type of diagram are going to be correct if our requirements are correct then if the requirements are correct then obviously the software or uh, the code which we are developing uh, which we are going to develop with respect to that particular design so that designs also going to be correct and if a design are correct then a final product is going to be correct so as you can see let's discuss first is if the requirements are correct then design to be meet requirements and if we build software based on this design so that also going to be correct and final output is going to be correct as well so as you can see correct functional and non-functional attributes delivered so we don't find any particular mistake in this particular part why because we have followed early testing module what do you what uh, we mean by early testing early testing means uh, on each and every phase we need to test uh, whatever data we have gathered there so suppose if we started gathering requirements so here we'll test those requirements are correct or not then if we are uh, building a design or uh, based on those requirements then we are going to test those designs as well and finally if we build some software based on that design then we are going to test that particular part only so early testing basically comes on each and every phase i hope this particular point is clear now if you don't follow early testing or if you don't uh, if you don't uh, particularly um, uh, check whether whether the things which we are performing those are correct or not then we might find this type of a problem as you can see in requirement 2 uh, the requirement or data which we have gathered to develop our software or a project that data is correct as you can see correct requirement now based on this requirement the design which we have developed that is also correct but somehow developer made some mistake in developing or coding that particular software and as you can see if there is a mistake while we develop or write a code for that particular software and that leads to bugs in our final software so this particular type is correct table defects so what we need to do we just need to correct our software or a code that's it now in third requirement or in a third case as you can see requirements are correct but based on that requirement we made some mistake in designing that particular software and hence the final design or a final product which we are going to build on this particular design that's also going to be wrong and final product that's also going to be wrong so as you can see requirements are correct but we have not uh, we have not tested it properly while uh, uh, we made design based on those requirements and hence rest all the phases of our software development life cycle went wrong now the fourth particular type and as you can see so from where we can uh, clear this type of a defect we need to start redesigning our software why because from where we started uh, making mistake in our, our uh, software development life cycle after requirement gathering only we started making mistakes so from this particular phase we need to develop our software again and fourth uh, 
particular example is you can see fourth requirement from beginning of this particular software development life cycle only we made mistake so requirements are wrong so if requirements are wrong design is going to be wrong and based on design the software which we are going to develop that's wrong and final product is also wrong so the whole whole process is wrong here so defects may be hidden from the IT team including testers so everything is going to be wrong uh, uh, when when we come to know whether that uh, software developed by us is uh, not uh, appropriate or uh, it is not suitable for our cl uh, clients requirement when we actually hand over or when we actually deploy that particular software and once we go for clients feedback that time we come to know that okay the software which we have developed that's totally wrong so let's discuss theory points first we talk about defects as you can see this is the definition of defects in very simple terms what we mean by defect defect means any any particular type of a bug or error or a flow so as you can see the flow in a component or a system that can cause a component or a system to fail if i have made some mistake uh, during coding so it won't allow my code to generate a proper output that's what we mean by a defect for example as you can see incorrect statement or data definition next point as you can see we know that people make mistakes and mistakes bound to happen uh, when we start working on a big project there are there are way uh, times when we make mistake it uh, uh, it's a human nature anyone can make such type of mistake if someone makes an error or a mistake using a software this may lead to directly or to a problem the software is used to incorrectly and so does not behave as per expected ways so what is the solution for this the solution is to go for early testing remember go for early testing on each and every phase we are going to test each and every phase we are going to apply testing on each and every phase second thing uh, that uh, instead of developing the whole software once we basically divide it into small components so we, we uh, if uh, if we have a huge project we basically divide it into 8 to 10 parts as, as per the length of our project we are going to divide it in small parts and those small parts are uh, those small parts we are going to uh, develop one by one so if there are problem uh, in any particular one part then we can rectify those problem in a next upcoming part however people also design and build software and they can make mistakes during uh, design and build I hope this particular points are clear so whenever we this type of mistakes means that are flows in a software itself so while designing while requirement gathering or while uh, we deploy that particular software that time also people can make mistakes so Mistakes can appear or mistake might occur at any phase of our software development life cycle. We don't have control over it. What is uh, how we can control it by taking a proper precautions. So as you can see this particular parts are called as defects or sometimes bugs or faults. Remember the software is not just a code. Check the definition of so software again. That can remind ourselves. So what we mean by a software uh, basically we have set of instructions those instruction we basically collect together that's what we mean by program so set of instructions simultaneously executing those set of instructions that's called as program and collection of this programs are called as software so uh, it might possible that we have made some mistake while writing those instructions or we have might made mistake while uh, while integrating all those programs in one software so mistake might happen or fault might occur at any point of time so what is what is the solution for this proper uh, pro uh, prepare a proper test plan that's the only solution for this so when the software code has been built it is executed and then any defect may cause the system to fail to do what it should do or something shouldn't do that causes the failure so these are the very simple points i hope this you can uh, read out this point now last is defect arise so as we discussed in uh, in the above diagram defect arise in four types uh, in four situation we have discussed that in first situation we have followed a proper structure so there are no defects in second till design we followed the proper structure but uh, there are mistakes made by developers during developing that particular software based on design so a uh, problem started from uh, development phase uh, coding phase and in third part problem started from designing phase and in a fourth requirement problem started from beginning uh, beginning only so as you can see if we talk about the same thing uh, uh, we have to write in uh, uh, in uh, this particular uh, statement wise so when we see that requirement one is implemented correctly we understood that customers requirement designed correctly meet the requirement built correctly so if uh, if a software is built correctly so the delivered requirement is a uh,
those uh, delivered protein uh, product are also going to be correct so functionally it does not what it is supposed to do and it also has the right non functional attributes so it is fast enough easy to understand and so on so we don't have any problem we don't find any problem in first type of requirements then in second uh, till uh, till uh, uh, the design part it was correct but uh, uh, while developing we, we made some mistakes so as you can see in requirement 2 is fine until the software is coded when we make some mistake and introduce a defect in which phase in developing phase or coding phase so uh, one can easily spot this type of de defects and uh, we can uh, again uh, correct those type of a mistake uh, we can recorrect those type of a mistake that's what we mean by retesting remember that's what we mean by retesting means implement a code try to test it uh, and at the same time once you develop your particular code or script or that particular program once you are going to test that particular script or program and then you hand over the same script to some other developers uh, which is present in your team or in some other team and those developers are going to test so that's how we basically make sure that there are no mistake uh, in the software which we have developed now the next part as you can see in third requirement uh, what we already discussed that uh, requirements are correct but we uh, made mistake while designing while making a design on that particular software so which type of design we are talking about dfd diagrams data flow diagrams er diagrams algorithms flow chart what we are going to de uh, develop for our software and based on those type of diagrams only we are going to build our code so while uh, developing those type of entity relationship diagram data flow diagram we made some mistake on those designs only and hence finally the product which we have built those product was wrong so as you can see defect introduced in requirement 3 are harder to deal with why because from designing part only we made a mistake so now it is very difficult if at the end of project if at the end of final product when we uh, when we supposed to release our product if that time we found out that design was wrong so it is very difficult we might uh, face a huge loss as well as uh, again we need to invest so much time in uh, again recorrecting each and everything so it is very 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 difficult and the fourth defect where from beginning only we made a mistake so i hope uh, this four points are clear now a final point which we have to remember is defect reported by customer in acceptance test what do we mean by acceptance test once we are done with a final product once we develop a final product and uh, then we deploy the same product or we hand over the same software to our customers customers are going to now uh, customers are now going to work on that particular software and if they found there are some defect present in your software then they are going to report to you or else if they uh, if they find that software is quite difficult to use so acceptance test is fail so what we need to do make your software as user uh, as user friendly as possible at the same time make it fast as well and your software should be of such a type that it should run on minimum configuration as well on minimum bandwidth as well if we talk about online based or based software so customers acceptance test is the most important part where customer is ready to work on that particular software or not or uh, whether customer still find some problem or he still uh, he still confused how to use and what are the features and why few feature uh, features are not working properly so the, all these things comes under acceptance test so acceptance test or live use can be very costly why because we need to first train those customers Uh, how to use our software how it is going to react under which situation how to provide data to it how it is going to provide output to you all this thing we need to train them and then they finally decide whether they are uh, comfortable with uh, whether they are comfortable using that particular software or not so if they are comfortable using your software that means acceptance test is clear if they are not ready to uh, use your software that means acceptance test is failed so we have to make our software as user friendly as possible and try to add a, a way or try to add features uh, same like the previous software used by your customers now we'll discuss the next part so in this particular part we are going to talk about uh, cost of finding defects and if you don't find defects then also how much it cost to you so for example uh, uh, we are developing some software as you can see cost of defects so if uh, we are developing some xyz software and uh, we we don't follow uh, early testing like uh, we already seen in previous diagram jahan pe in third and fourth requirement 
we made a mistake while design phase or uh, we made a, in fourth requirement we made a mistake in beginning of phase only so if we made mistake in those beginning phase then it cost us a huge huge revenue huge efforts huge time we need to again invest to it so cost of defect so as you can see if we follow the proper time i mean we uh, suppose we have two months to develop or six months to develop that particular software out of those six months one one week or 15 days are there to design that software then 10 days are there to test that particular software and rest all time was uh, basically dedicated for developing purpose or coding purpose so we uh, we have to stick to that particular timeline as you can see uh, sometimes we need to allot to requirement then design and build as you can see cost increases as soon as we start developing why because we need expert developers who basically provides their skills knowledge to, uh, to make that software a perfect and user friendly as well so hence we need to invest a huge revenue or huge money while developing that particular software so if if we made some mistake while developing that particular software that means we again need to invest more money and hence our profit also goes down as well as customer also not get satisfied with your service so next time is also uh, next time he won't come to uh, you for any new particular updates or something right so as you can see requirement design build test and live uh, live use so it comes on x axis and on y axis we talk about cost so as soon if we follow a proper structure where we are uh, following a proper structure like uh, on time we are uh, uh, gathering requirement we are testing it whether those requirements are correct or not again we go for design again test whether those designs are correct or not then go for development and again test that development is correct or not so if we follow this proper structure then this is how our cost graph goes on so here this is this is the uh, most correct way where we are actually utilizing time in a most perfect way and uh, uh, we won't face any problem in future but if we made some mistake if you don't follow the structure then uh, there are uh, type of mistake like uh, we we just miss few of the things and hence what happens that uh, we again need to design uh, uh, start designing that particular software or again need to start developing that particular software and hence our profit goes down we are in total in loss and uh, as well as uh, our review front of customer also goes in a negative way so let's discuss what is the cost of defects one by one as you can see there are points which i have provided here so if we talk about the first point So what is the first point the cost of finding defects or fixing those defects rises considerably across the life cycle so if if we have made some mistake in very early stages then the cost which, uh, which is required to resolve those defects is going to be very 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 high this means that if we mend a tear in our sleeves now while it is small it's easy to mend so if in the beginning of uh, software development life cycle only if we found there are some defects or problems or uh, some mistakes we can resolve it very easily but at the end of project if we found out that design was wrong or we made a huge mistake while coding or developing that particular software then that basically creates a huge huge disaster for you next as you can see the next point is if an error is made and the consequent defect is detected in the requirement at the specification stage then it is relatively cheap to find and fix so in beginning phase as we discussed in beginning phase if we found defect then it is very cheap to resolve similarly if an error is made and consequent defect detected in design so till the design phase if you have made some mistake and you found out those mistake at till that particular stage then it is very cheap to basically resolve those type it is not that expensive but if you found out that design was wrong and based on design the software which you have developed that was wrong then that is too expensive mistake you have to pay too huge money as well as time efforts everything so as you can see however defect is introduced in requirement specification and does not detect it until acceptance test acceptance test means at the end when we deploy that particular software to our customer then customer uh, customer basically tells us that this are the not the exact software what we have demanded so now there is a huge problem for you now what is the problem that we again need to start developing that particular software why because we have made all all whatever developed 
Now, whatever software we have developed, all went wrong. So, what what we need, we again go for rework, which is needed in specification design on each and every phase. So, I hope you can read out this point. If you have any doubt or query, you can ping me in a comment section. One more thing. I have provided uh, notes for this particular subject in a comment section. So from there you will find the link from where you can download this particular notes and uh, for other subjects as well. Now, the next question which we are going to discuss is what are the quality and its component? What we mean by quality of a software and explain quality viewpoint for producing that particular or buying producing and buying a software. This is also a very important question which is al already appeared in our university exam. So as you can see I have uh, given you this particular diagram. Now this is not new. Remember this is our software development life cycle only. As you can see if you uh, if you notice it carefully we have customer who basically provides you some requirement or customer customer has some needs. So marketing people are going to deal with that particular person and based on those requirement uh, I mean we need to gather some requirement from our customer or customer tells you some some of the needs and based on that we are going to design our software based on design we are going to manufacture and after manufacturing we are going to distribute that particular software or services to our customers. So this is our software development life cycle. I hope this particular point is clear and whenever I am providing any particular diagram besides my question you have to follow those diagrams it will enhance your answer in exam as well. It will help you to fetch more marks in exam. So let's start discussing. So what we mean by quality? Remember, uh, when we talk about quality, the definition of quality differs from person to person. For example, if we talk about uh, customers, uh, for customer quality means software should work properly. It should not get hanged uh, and it, it should provide faster output. That's what uh, we uh, quality means for customers. But at the same time, if we talk about quality with respect to uh, our developers, so uh, how they basically measures the quality which software they are using and uh, in which software the develop development is cheap and upgradation is also cheap that's what we mean by quality for developers so person to person remember person to person definition of quality changes so as you can see following are the different definition of quality if we talk about customer uh, customer based definition of quality quality product must have fitness to use they don't care which technology you are using, how you are developing that particular software. What they uh, care about is what type of output your software generates, whether it generates correct output or not and it should work in a proper manner, faster manner. It should not get hanged. If some failure occurs, it should recover itself very, very, very properly. And if all these pro uh, features pro uh, your software provides, that, that means your so software is in a good quality. That's what we mean by customer's definition. But if we talk about with the viewpoint of manufacturing based definition of quality then this approach gives the definition of confirmation to requirements. So manufacture what manufacturer thinks like okay these are the requirements given by or provided by a customer we have to fulfill all those requirements in our software and hence we can provide a quality software to our customer. So fulfilling or adding all those requirements in a software that's what the, the definition be, uh, derived by our manufacturer. Next particular part as you can see product based definition of quality. So if we talk about product based definition the product must have something that other similar product do not have which can help customer satisfying his or her needs. So if we talk about uh, two smartphone which we uh, different companies used to launch in market. So they ba basically going to advertise their product based on few or the other new feature which they have introduced and that's how they are going to market their, their product. And Based on those unique features only which are not uh, provided by other uh, um, smartphone companies your product is going to increase uh, the sale of your product is going to increase in a market. Got the point? So what we oh, what we mean by product based definition of quality means we need to provide some extra features or some unique features which are not provided by any other uh, rivals or any other competitor of us. Then if we talk about value based definition of quality many times it is claimed that people do not buy product they buy benefits. Remember which type of service you are providing to your customer. Uh, selling your product or selling your software that's not, uh, that's not just a, uh, one part uh, I mean that's just one part of our uh, software uh, I mean of our pro uh, process. After, after 
giving software to our customer we also need to provide services if we don't provide a proper services a maintenance phase is not properly maintained by us then so customer satisfaction goes down and is not going to come to us next time onwards so if we talk about value based definition of quality that means we need to provide best services after providing software we also need to provide best services uh, provide on time updates if there are some problem or bugs or uh, some uh, some failure they are facing just help them over a call or over an email service or if there are some uh, uh, ma major problem then send your engineer as soon as possible and uh, after every interval after every some interval or after every 10 15 days take feedback from our customers and that's the best possible way uh, if i take, give you an example if if we if we uh, now time if we call to any customer service once we done uh, once we done talking to their customer agents then you will find one sms uh, comes from a toll free number which states that whether you are satisfied with our service or not so that's how we basically going to enhance or we basically provides a, an extra value to our customers and then that's the only way to stay in competition in market and uh, handle your customer with an efficient next is components of quality so what are the components of quality as you can see this is also very basic i hope the quality what we mean by quality is very clear to you so quality is based on customer satisfaction by acquiring a product that's correct the organization must define quality parameter before it can achieve and so organization should define what uh, how they are going to provide quality software and what they mean by quality software what are the feature they need to include in that particular software in order to meet some criteria of improvement and ability to satisfy your customer one must follow cycle which cycle software development life cycle define requirement measure it monitor it control it and improve it so uh, this goes like an spiral model we must have studied uh, uh, in software engineering spiral model of software development this is the same process goes on the same cycle of improvement through measurements is described as you can see we have continuous process where we continuously try to improve each and every time we try to improve our quality we try to improve or add new features to existing software that's the best possible way and that's what we need to do then only customer can stick to us i hope this particular point is clear and i have provided few points here you don't need to memorize all points uh, just try to remember three four uh, three four points out from here so i'm not uh, repeating this uh, this things again it is very simple if you find some doubt uh, comment in a just uh, write your query in a comment section i'll update the same i'll, I'll answer the same query in next uh, upcoming lecture i hope this particular point is clear so we are done uh, discussing quality uh, quality point of view or quality points as well in next question uh, in next particular lecture we'll start discussing principles of testing i hope whatever we discussed till now is very clear to you if you have any doubt or query uh, and uh, for more more other lectures you can follow me on this particular channel thank you bye bye and stay tuned